Okay, I'm hoping this is working. I'm waiting on Nairi because Nairi is just getting out of the shower, but um, we'll see what happens. I've got a couple of requests. I've got a few people who wanted to know some more stuff and so far my computer doesn't want to play games. So I'm um, streaming from my phone. Apologies if I'm coming in sideways. These things happen. And what I wanted to share first on today's live video is the seven ways that you can make money from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So there is more than seven ways, but this is just a little quick overview for those people who may have been in, may have had some Bitcoin for a little while, don't know what to do with it, and for those people who are actually interested in learning some more. So drop in, give me a comment, give me a question. I'll run through this very quickly because I want to make a second video about the nine reasons why I actually prefer cryptocurrency to share trading, which is what I used to do for many years as a financial planner. So, um, Nairi, you're there. How do I invite you in? I don't know how to do that. I haven't got a button here and you're going to need to give me some more specific instructions, but that's okay. You can come in on the second video, don't if I can't figure this out. I'm, I'm new to tech. I'm new to Bitcoin. I've been in Bitcoin only for 18 months. I've got a lot of friends and mentors who have been in for many, many years. So number one way to make money from Bitcoin is obviously buy and hold. And if you did that with Bitcoin over the last 12 months, you would have seen $1,000 worth of Bitcoin turn into $25,000. If you've been holding for five years, you would have seen a couple of dollars, three, four, maybe $200 uh, back in 2012 turn into $25,000. Plus, if you were holding for that period, you would have also got bonus Bitcoin cash as well as the original Bitcoin. Buying and holding, always a good idea for a stock and for a crypto, providing they've got underlying value. Number two is trade. You can actually trade between the different cryptocurrencies. So you can buy Bitcoin, you can sell the Bitcoin, and use that money to buy Ethereum or Litecoin or Dash or any one of the 1300 other coins that are available. So trading, because it is a very, very quick market, the settlements are done within a matter of seconds or minutes rather than three or four days or even six days on the share market. So you can make money very, very quickly. Even while the price is going down, you can make money. That's trading. Number three is mining. Mining, you used to be able to do it on a laptop. Now you need a huge, huge, basically a room full of computers to do the mining because the mining gets harder and harder. But if you really want to do that, some people have invested, you know, 50, 60, hundred thousand dollars into a big computer setup and they can make up to half a million dollars a month from mining. So that's another way that you can do it if you're super duper serious. Otherwise, trading and buy and hold might be for you. Uh, fourth way that you can make money out of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is initial coin offerings, what they call ICOs. So when new coins come out, obviously Ripple is, is backed by a bank. Uh, there's Bank Era, which is backed by a bank. There's Power, which is the new one that Richard Branson has become very heavily involved in, which is basically sending peer-to-peer -peer electricity without going through the electricity company. So if you're into solar panels and wind and that sort of stuff, rather than selling your electricity back to the electricity company, them taking a clip and then selling it to someone else, you can actually sell it direct to people. Again, Bitcoin and blockchain is about cutting out the intermediaries. So you can send money, transfer money, send power, send technology, contracts, that sort of stuff. So always look for the underlying value. What's behind this Bitcoin? There was some people who bought companies back in the, the dot-com boom, and obviously we don't have Ask Jeeves. America Online pretty well crashed and burned, but Google came out of that okay. A lot of other companies came out of that because they had good value. Always look for the value. So that was number four, which is the initial coin offerings. You can also, if you're very clever, if you know a few people, you can get in number five, which is the pre-ICO. So you can get into some initial coin offerings before everybody else is. Um, I'm actually buying into, or I've bought into a, a coin offering which is coming out. It's going to be worth 20 cents when it launches on February, late February. But as of now, like as of today, I can buy them for four cents. For the next week, they're going to be about eight cents. So for people who get in very, very early, you can make the profits even before that actually launches onto the market. Number six now is education. If you know a little bit about cryptocurrency or if you're willing to spend some time, you know, spend a lot of hours on Google or on YouTube or something like that, 
becoming a very fast expert. You can do that. The technology is changing all the time. It's like the early days of the internet. I got back into the internet more than 20 years ago. Um, and I was just a beginner back then. I didn't know much about the internet. I used to send emails to people and I forgot to put the attachments in. I forgot to write text in so people were getting empty envelopes in the mail. But you learn things and once you learn 10% more than somebody else, you can actually become their teacher. You can become their mentor. So if you'd like to teach other people about Bitcoin, then by all means, take a day off work. You know, spend eight or nine hours researching it. G'day Nick, you're, you're a big educator. Absolutely. Research it, look into it, because if you know 10% more than somebody else, then you can actually become their educator. Uh, number seven is affiliate markets. You can actually become an affiliate and you can share the, the exchanges where people actually buy their cryptocurrency. So going back to the stock analogy, you can buy stocks and shares on the Westpac website. You can buy it on the, the Commonwealth Bank website. You can buy through brokers. There's different places where you can actually, thanks Nelson for coming in, where you can actually buy your stocks and shares. So these, these places, like if you buy shares on Comsec, you're paying $25 a trade. If you buy shares on Westpac Broking, I think it's also about $25 a trade. On NetWealth, it's about $19. But these guys are actually keeping the money. So if you're part of the exchange, like say Bittrex or BTC Markets or some of these CoinSpot, Coinbase, you can actually share the link with your friends. And then when they pay for the trades, it's only a few cents. You might pay three cents or 10 cents or $2 for the trade, but you're actually getting some money back because again, it's about peer to peer. It's about cutting the banks out. So why not make some money out of it? So I promised there was going to be seven, but I'm going to give you eight just because why not? It's Christmas and we should always under promise and over deliver because that's business. Uh, the other way that you can make money on crypto is a very tricky way, which is called arbitrage. So there's these different exchanges around the world. So people are buying cryptocurrencies, people are buying Bitcoin in Korea or New Zealand or Australia or America. You used to be able to do this a little bit with the stock market because there were some Australian shares such as BHP and National Bank, which were listed on the US exchange. And because the US is basically trading while the Australians are sleeping, the Australians are are waking up while the Americans are sleeping, sometimes you would actually notice that BHP went higher on the US exchange overnight and you'd be able to jump in and buy it before it took off in Australia. So we're seeing a bit of lag sometimes you go to, you, know, you might be on CoinSpot, CoinJar, BTC Markets, Coinbase, some of these exchanges. And I checked this morning and Bitcoins are selling for 22,000 on one exchange and selling for 24,000 on another exchange. So if you're very quick, you can jump in on the first exchange, buy them for 22,000, turn around, transfer them to the other, other exchange, which again, only takes a few seconds, only costs a few, a few cents. And you can buy them for 22,000 and then sell them for 24,000 on the other exchange. So that's number eight. I hope you listened to the first seven. If you haven't, you can go back and, and listen to this again. I'm trying to go very fast because I don't want to make a big, long 30 minute video that no one's going to listen to, but I will be posting some more videos, doing some more live. And again, the nine reasons is, is the next one. Nine reasons why I love crypto rather than the stock exchange. And one of those things is the speed and the other thing is cutting out the banks, but we'll get into the other seven on another call. Chat to you soon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you guys. And if you're not one of the 17 people that I've sent free cryptocurrency to as part of my Christmas campaign, then send me a message, find out how to do that because I'm no longer paying for Facebook ads. I'm paying directly to the people who share my posts. Thank you. Chat to you soon.